today I would like to talk about the 4x4 membrane keypad which is this one so this is simply a connection containing 16 switches yeah behind here it has an adhesive surface so if you want to attach it to any other place you just simply peel off this white paper here and then you attach it where you want it to be attached so it is easy to use and like I've said these keyboards are simply switches for example this one contains 16 switches arranged in a matrix form you can even make them yourself I remember there is a some project I made before using a, a general keypad like this one it shows you that the switches here made up of buttons and they can even show you that these buttons are arranged in columns and rows so for this keypad membrane here i think the columns and rows are differentiated using these if you see there is some black labeling there so that black label shows the rows and then the other part shows the columns now well, that's it so i'll say these are switches arranged in a matrix form and this is because in this form you reduce the number of output and input pins that are going to be used for attaching the keypad to the microcontroller in this case arduino for example if you are using each of these buttons as a single switch you may need to have 17 input and output pins because each switch we need its own pin and then we have an extra ground pin to connect all the pins so that means we're going to be using a lot of pins for something very simple but in the matrix form you are going to reduce the number to only eight and it can also be reduced further using some other i2c devices now i'm going to show you how it can be connected to the arduino board and now we can even interface it with an i2c lcd display so connecting the keypad to the arduino is very simple you simply just connect these pins here for the rows and columns of the keypad to the corresponding digital pins of the Arduino. So from here you can see I've connected the column pins from 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then the row pins are on 6, 7, 8 and 9. So that's how you connect that. Then I've also included an I2C LCD display so that I can be able to display some of the values of the keypad that I'm going to be pressing on the LCD display so include the schematic so that you can see how the connection is really made let's now upload our code and see what happens so the code is now uploaded and you can see on the screen it is saying press any key so when you press a key the key value is going to appear here on the screen for example, if I press 1, you discover there is 1 on the LCD screen. I press 2, 2, 6, A, hash, star, D. So like that, that's a simple demonstration of how you can interface the 4x4 keypad with the Arduino and LCD. Thanks for watching. Hope you have liked the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos.